Hello and welcome to Mage Master's amazing adventures with the Firing Squad into Vortheim, the city of the damned. Another day is dawning in Mordheim, City of the Damned, and let's get started right away with the sweet moment after yesterday's heroic battle. And, of course, not the least, follow my personal progress as the Warlock Ranger Mage Master. And the captain got four experience points and one physical advancement point. Nice, Captain, and you showed some real courage and bravery out there, going out alone to bait them. Nice. And Howard Howler, you got a light wound. You stood your ground when you took a critical hit, and now you suffer from a flesh wound. Hmm, it takes a little time to recuperate. Two days. I guess when you get critical hits, you get an open wound with these chances of wounds. But at least you got an enemy put out of action, five experience points and one mental advancement point. That's pretty good. And Teddy Toothpick, you got four experience points and one mental advancement point as well. And you're close to ranking up to level four. Nice. And Dodgy Dan, you did some good shooting out there. You got a mental advancement point and three experience points. Nice one. And Sheldon Shieldwise, once again, you held the stairways. You got a mental advancement point because you're so cool. Nice. And four experience points. One enemy put out of action. Awesome. And there I am. Three experience points for me and a mental advancement point as well. And I'm close to ranking up to level three. Ooh. Nice progress for the newest true member of the Firing Squad. Right, fellas? Have I mentioned that? I think so. And Herman Henchman, you got three experience points and is so close to ranking up to level four. Nice. No advancement points for you today, but in one experience point, you will receive something, I'm sure. Well done. And Nero the hero with your yellow feather and vest to fit the feather. You got three experience points and a mental advancement point. And look at this, Nero. You're close to ranking up to level one. Your first rank. Nice. And as a warband, we got two experience points. And while the captain distributes the spoils of war and the advancements of skills, you can enjoy Mage Master's very own first-hand experienced war tale of yesterday's venture into... Vortheim, the city of the damned. And the captain has persuaded the Baron to give us a proper mission, a hard mission, crush their will. The wordstone gathering with savage and the scavenging is poor. Each warband deploys in a wide arc from their wagon, far from each other. Nice one, captain. You're up against the Skaven. Spleen takers. Oh my god, I'm gonna tell you something. I've heard so much bad about these Skaven. The plan is that we all gather up and go to this house. This is the base camp number one. We got good balconies up here. We got a good view of the direction from which the Skaven rat packs are coming, running down this way. Some might come around this way, but we have a good view here. We'll see what approach we need. We have a Wordstone field right here. We have one on the middle of the street. We're surrounded by Wordstone. We need to see how we can get a hold of that. Now I'm placed all the way out here. My object is to go through these houses, get to the scavenge point, and through the front door and assist on the balconies. And all of them were crowding up in front of the front door while I was going for the scavenge point. Eleven gold crowns? That's always useful. I was hurrying back to the front door, but all of them were ahead of me, so they all kind of made it in there, and Howard Howler was the last to cover the door, with me standing right outside. That's when Teddy spotted the first one, in the middle of the street, gathering some wordstone. 
And we all went in positions on the balconies, and Nero the Hero found a good window. We were waiting, which is a key word on this mission. Waiting and watching. Nero the Hero kept a close eye on him, Overwatch stancing the window. I was on the balcony together with Teddy Toothpick keeping an eye on all of the directions in front of us. Finally, the captain decided to step outside a bit and try and see if he can use himself as a bait to the rat pack standing in the middle of the street. We were all holding our breaths, thinking of how things went the last time the firing squad met the Skaven. Teddy Toothpick was as impatient as the rest of us, but we kept a close eye on him to cover the captain. He saw no one else for a long time. No one else. So we just waited while the captain sneaked a little closer to see if he could lure him away from the word stone. But nothing happened. So the captain finally decided to go the other way around the house and go for the first of our wordstone fields. Still, no one was in sight. Dodgy Dan was becoming a little bit impatient and he went out to cover the front door, although the captain told us all to stay in the house. The captain called Herman Henchman out to cover his back and told Sheldon Shieldwise to hold the stairs so we could all feel secure. Our white knight, aka the surgeon, had done it before. The front door was covered, and by the new round, a new round has started. We were all just holding our breath, keeping an eye out, and watching every step. Or no step, because still no one in sight. I decided to cover the other balcony side to look up alongside the other house and see if I could spot any foe. Still no one. And below, a wordstone field so attractive that the captain and Herman Henchman could approach it all deserted. Still no foe in sight. Howard Howler had the front door covered and Dodgy Dan stepped a little out to cover the other corner of the house. Still no one in sight. We were slowly creeping out of the front door. We were all keeping a good eye on the captain and Herman Henchman. But there was still no one in sight. I covered the captain from above and Herman Henchman from the corner while he could take the nice big cluster and shard right below us. And Herman Henchman could take the rest of the fragments out on the first field, well looted and still, with no other enemies in sight. By the one standing almost paralyzed by the word stone in the middle of the street. So we marked the other field of word stone on the other side of the house, closer to the enemy, and still no one else was in sight. Howard Howler got out in front, together with the first frontliners. Herman Henchman stood by the corner and stepped even further up to the big cracks in the wall. Perfect hideouts for ambush stances. So we approached even closer, and Howard Howler stood in the middle of the street. That's when things started to happen. A new round has started. Not that there were any other enemies in sight. But he started moving the one on the middle of the street. Teddy Toothpick spotted him in the gateway and got him with a nice shot. But Herman Henchman was surprised. But counted well. 
the captain and the rest of the second frontliners approached. The captain never misses and laid some heavy damage on him. Sheldon Shearwise left the stairway to join the first frontliners. Since there were no other enemies in sight, it seemed safe to leave us to our own protection upstairs on the balconies. Dodgy Dan laid some heavy damage on him with his dueling pistols and Herman Henchman laid some staggering steel on him and put him to his knees. Howard Howler quickly went to the second Wordstone field and took some of the good ones. Two shards and a cluster. And hurried back while Herman Henchman could wall dodge or something. I was getting impatient on the balcony and decided to go despise the word of the captain and help the front line. As soon as I set foot on ground was when I spotted the first one. And I also spotted my mistake. Hi, Captain. I should have stayed, but decided to come down and deal some damage down here. The captain put the rat out of his misery and looted a nice cluster and hurried back, or rather ordered us back, because now there was not just one, but two approaching the corner. Teddy Toothpick saw it all. Everyone was ordered back into the house. Teddy Toothpick now spotted three. Another one was approaching. They were swarming in on us, and Herman Henchman was covering the other corner and the front door so the others could come to safety inside the house. They were closing in. And I was, once again, ordered into the house and up on the first floor. And here I found a good place covering the front door and the approaching rat pack. The captain placed himself well inside the hall with a good overwatch stance. And what was once three enemies approaching had now become five. They were coming in and they were coming in fast. Sheldon Shieldwise decided to take one side of the door with an ambush stance. And the rest of us on first floor, including Nero the hero, was standing ready to shoot. While Herman Henchman sat on the other side of the front door. Now Howard Howler was the only one left outside, and he too found a nice place by the front door. The ambush was set up. A new round has started. That's when the swarm started. And the first one arrived. Nero the hero sent him a warning shot. Herman Henchman, hiding behind a bench, was hurt in a charge and missed his own counterattack. A second one came by the door and the captain sent him a warning shot. But Sheldon Shieldwise stopped his approach and took some heavy damage. He gave a hard one back on the counter-attack and received some more right. And even more of it, the battle was on. I was on the high ground picking out my targets and hitting them well. Now we had two inside the house and three incoming. The captain now laid some heavy damage on the warned rat. Teddy the toothpick also gave him a stick or two. And Herman Henchman laid some heavy damage. Twice.
Howard Howler chose to charge in hard. And go in a defensive stance. A new round has started. The front door was closed, but outside through the open window, their leader threw stuff at Dodgy Dan, but got stunned in the process. Herman Henchman was still taking damage in the first front line, but stood his ground. And Sheldon Shieldwise, our white knight, was up against a capable yeah. But he did his best. But Howard Howler got a critical He too had trouble with this foe and things were looking out tough. The, the captain laid some lead on the stunned rat pack and placed himself on an overwatched high ground. And the rest of us on the second front line were laying down damage from the high ground, and a coach Dodge Dan was laying some heavy damage through the window. Sheldon Shieldwise decided to put him out of his misery, and Nero the Hero laid some hard damage on another rat pack standing in the front door. <laughs> And Howard Howler could put him out of his misery. A new round has started. Teddy Toothpick welcomed another incoming Rat Pack while this Rat Pack threw stuff at Howard Howler. He decided to loot his own allies before carefully approaching the front door. Maybe a wise rat. Or maybe because he had backup. He came swarming in, Howard Howler swung hard, missed, and also dodged. I decided to welcome the first one with some damage. And even more, I made way for Nero the hero who could also lay some heavy damage on him. And Howard Howler could deal some more damage to him. Again and again. With a final strike. That broke them. A new round has started. It was a battleground victory. There was some really good looting out there. And there was some really good gathering today. And we got a little gold coins with us as well. Wonder who found them. Hmm. We put five enemies out of action and lost no one, and no one got injured. And Howard Howler was honored most valuable warrior. It probably would have been me if I'd just stayed up on that balcony like the captain told me to. Hmm. I just wanted to help, right? Anyway, we did actually return with an injury, didn't we? And Howard Howler's treatment is gonna cost us six gold coins. And the rest of the mission only costed 45 gold coins, and it was overall a very successful mission. But who cares about that as long as it's a victory? All we cared about was that we were going home to a meal that was not oatmeal porridge. Some delicacy thing. Mmm, that's what we were talking about. And that's all we were looking forward to at this point. Nice. Now let's see who got what at yesterday's sweet moment. And the Captain Mason mugshot. What courage and bravery you showed out there. And you really took good care of us, tucking us away in that house safe and secure. But you were probably a bit too overcautious, if you ask me. It took too long, Captain. It took too long. Anyway, you were pretty happy because we brought home two good quality spears and even a good quality shield. But one of the good quality spears is the Spear of Slaying, providing two to maximum weapon damage. And you'll be taking that for yourself. And you'll be giving the other spear you had to Donny Dodger, I believe. And you were also given an advancement point in physical, and you'll be using that for toughness. That would boost your wounds a bit and your resistances. Nice. And Howard Howler, what a good job you did out there. You were hit by a critical strike, but you stood your ground, and now that's costing you two days of recovery from a light wound. 
but you were given a mental advancement point and you're going to be using that for leadership to boost the morale and some of these resistances down here look at this all alone nice now rest up howard we will see you in a couple of days all right and herman henchman what a good job you did out there you were a true first front liner you were up front all the time you're the first one out by the wall the first to get engaged you even took a fight behind a bench Anyway, you did a good job out there, and you are going to be given the Spear of Luck, the other spear we found out there of good quality, and you just need one more experience to rank up to level four. Nice first frontliner we got here. Awesome. And Dodgy Dan, what a good job you also did out there, and some good shooting, and you even covered the front door on several occasions. You were making us all feel safe. Nice. You got an advancement point in mental, and you're going to be using that to boost your morale with the leadership and the resistances of all alone terror and fear. And there I am, Mage Master. Well, there was no gear for me, but I was given a mental advancement point. I'm going to start using those for intelligence so I can start learning spells and stuff. Nice. And I think I'm going to be putting this antidote back. I may take a poultice, I think. Yeah, it can remove one open wound effect. That would have helped Howard Howler quite a bit. So I'm going to take that with me instead. Nice. And Teddy Toothpick, you also did a good piece of shooting out there today. Wow. And you were given an advancement point in mental. You're going to be using that for leadership to boost the morale and some of these resistances down here. And it looks as if you are soon to rank up to level four, just two experience points. Nice. This is exciting. Well done. And Nero the hero with the yellow feather and the vest to fit the feather. You two did a tremendously good job out there of shooting and waiting, which was what the captain told us to do, and some of you did. Anyway, uh, you were given an advancement point in mental, and you're going to be using that for leadership to boost the morale a bit and some of these resistances down here. But what's even better is, look, you are close to ranking up to level one, Nero. This is exciting. Nice job. And Sheldon, shield-wise, here you are stripped from all your heavy gear. Year, but that's because you're lending it to Pierre Paré. He is coming with us on a mission today, and you are not because you got some serious bad belly. Look, I'll tell you all about that later. Anyway, you were given an advancement point in mental, and you are going to be using that for leadership to boost the morale a bit here and the resistances down here. And here he is, Pierre Paré, our newest member of the firing squad on his first mission he's gonna be taking some good quality gear a spear and the good quality shield we found out there this is gonna be giving him some protections but he's gonna stay a bit back so the dueling pistols is his primary weapon nice pierre nice Okay, let me just tell you guys real quick that yesterday's episode, it was way too long. And I've talked to the captain about this overcautiousness, so it's never gonna be that long again. I promise. I mean, I promise. And I always keep my promises. And yesterday, I promised you that I'd show you Howard Howler's master plan after I lured it out of him with just four mugs of ale and meat. And of course, I'll keep that promise. But hey, you know that these plans are tired. Top secret, right? So don't tell the captain I showed it to you, okay? I mean, I could get fired for this stuff, you know? Now let's take a look at the captain's master plan for... Howard Howler, Divine Wolf Priest Spellcaster, a melee hero and a first frontliner. Every warband member of the firing squad has four personal objectives, counting the first objective as the standard contract. To become a true member, everyone has to survive five missions and put five enemies out of action. Once that is accomplished, they can progress in the star ranking system as a trooper. And he can gain a star by putting another 15 enemies out of action, making it a total of 20 enemies put out of action. If he does that, he gains a star and the rank of a true trooper. 
and he can achieve a second star by casting Ulrich's gift on an ally who puts an enemy out of action with it. If he does that, he gains a second star and becomes a star trooper. And he can achieve a third star and the highest rank of a tri trooper by training and mastering three divine spells. Now let's take a look at the specific stats, spells and skills specified by the captain. There are three spells, two active skills and four passive skills in all, and they will all be mastered. Let's start with the spells. And the first spell is a buff called Ulrich's Gift that can be applied to a single ally. It increases the ally's melee hit chance and melee damage by 20%. And it grants immunity to all alone, but unfortunately it prevents the use of flee, disengage and ranged attacks and skills. And the second spell is Snow King's Decree. It is a debuff that can be cast on a single enemy. When this enemy performs a melee attack or a ranged attack, they will inflict 20 to 30 damage to themselves. And the third and last of the spells is the Frostbite. It is also a debuff that can be cast on a single enemy. It deals 24 to 34 damage and reduces the maximum strategy points by 3. Now let's take a look at the active skills. The first one is Swift Charge. Now he will be mastering this skill, so this is a charge performing a melee attack that has a 20% chance to hit. It deals 25% damage extra and bypasses 30% of the target's dodge and parry chance. The target may counter attack with a minus 10% chance to hit. And the second and last of his active skills is Web of Steel. He will be mastering this skill, so he can take a defensive stance that ends the current turn. And the stance allows three attempts to parry incoming melee attacks, and a successful parry attempt will reduce the cost of a counterattack by one offense point. And now for the passive skills. His pre-made passive skill is Heart of the Wolf. It increases the chance to pass all alone, fear and terror and leadership tests by 35%. His second passive skill is Flash Parry. He masters this and increases his parry chance by 20%. And his third passive skill is Knowledge Tactics. He will be mastering this skill and increasing his dodge and parry chance by 15%. And the fourth and last of his passive skills is Retaliation. It will increase his chance to hit for counterattacks by 20% because he will be mastering this skill. And this is his personal Warband member master plan sheet planned out and masterminded by the captain himself. And you can find this sheet and many more in the captain's book of master plans. It provides a good understanding and a deep insight into Mage Master's amazing adventures with the firing squad into Vortheim, the city of the damned. And so a new damn day is dawning in Mordheim and it's time to look at the daily report. And Howard Howler is still receiving treatment for his light wound. He'll be back in a day and the Baron has given us two more days to deliver the requested shipment and avoid any consequences. All right. Let me just tell you guys real quick about last night's dinner. Well, boy, have I got some shitty news for you guys. Literally. You know that we were all looking forward to eating that Eastern delicacy called sushi, right? Well, apparently that's not just something with fish, but with raw fresh fish. Yeah, but Perry Perry, he couldn't get any fresh fish at the docks yesterday. So instead he made it with raw chicken. Yeah, you heard right. Raw fresh chicken. It tastes it really bad but we all tried to give him a break and you know pretend to like it well sheldon shieldwise did i think he even had a second helping but the captain didn't even want to taste it anyway we started vomiting so that was a pretty big giveaway right and that was just for starters let's just say that our tiny toilet bucket was really put to the test and after we all emptied our bellies both ways we ended up making a pot of oatmeal porridge
And the captain was fuming and furious. He made it pretty clear that Perry Perry only had one more chance and that he no longer decides the menus. We do from now on. And he's put on toilet duty indefinitely. So the Dodger brothers got to pick the first menu, something easy. And since they're from a land called America, they wanted barbecue, their national dish, I guess. They'll even make the sauce themselves, so all Perry Perry has to do is grill the meat. So when we return from mission today, we will finally get some proper food grilled meat. I just hope we're all well by then, because we're all really haunted by some pretty bad belly bashing here, I can tell you. And though we could use a bigger toilet bucket, like, you know, a toilet barrel, made from some of the leftover wood, we've postponed that project for tomorrow, because uh, we're all saving our strength for today's mission. And speaking of a mission, here is the team we are sending into Mordheim City of the Damned today. And we're a party of only seven today, not for strategic reasons, but they were the seven of us that could actually stand. Starting from the left, me, Mage Master, and the Captain Mason Muckshot, as he is the only captain we still have. We have Herman Henchman as a first frontliner today, and Donny Dodger as a second frontliner together with Pierre. Pare on his first mission. Our eye in the sky is Teddy Toothpick together with Nero the Hero, the yellow feather with the vest to fit the feather. Nice. So let's go. And the captain has found us a hard mission today. Scavengers. Someone is marked for death. The wordstone gathering would be average and the scavenging would be poor. One warband is caught exploring buildings while the other deploys tightly around its wagon. A hard one today, captain. Really? Okay. Exploring one of the city's old residential districts, you quickly discover that you aren't alone. Another warband is looting the nearby buildings. Dispersed in the ruins, the scavengers present an inviting target for your warriors as they deploy near your wagon. And we're in. Okay, first things first. Let's just check out the map while the captain is checking out his map. And hopefully he lays a master battle plan approach while we can check out who we're up against. The witch hunters it is. Flames of Sigma. There are two of them marked for death. And we are over here. Okay, let's see. It's time for deployment and to hear the captain's master plan for today's mission approach. Let's see. I would be here, and the captain could be here, and Teddy Toothpick is gonna be here, and Herman Henchman, a first frontliner here, nice, Donny Dodger should be there, and Pierre Paré in the middle, tucked in on a second front liner and Nero the hero is gonna be here and before we go any further let's just hear the captain's master plan for today the plan is that we all gather up along this house and keep tight and about here we will probably engage the enemy we are going into the house and up and down the stairs fighting we know that kind of fighting right here there is a wordstone field right here and a lot of other wordstone around but the problem is that they are probably dispersed in these buildings right here and could be upon us in the first round or in the second whatever as long as we get into this house things will be fine now let's see. The three question marks in the top of the screen indicating that three of them are moving. Two question marks in the top of the screen. Now we're just waiting. Oh man, this is a tough day. Yeah. So I'm the first one to move and I am gonna be moving up to this corner to see if I can spot anyone. Let's see, that could be a trap right there. 
Okay, let's see. Oh, here is one. He hasn't moved yet. He hasn't moved yet, so he could actually move pretty far, pretty close to us. Hmm. Okay. So, this is the corner where we are gonna have to make a stand in the first place. But let's see if anybody else comes into shooting range. So I'm gonna delay here. I have two shots. I don't know if I've mentioned them. Sorry. Yeah. Well, it's a tough day. Yeah, it's a pretty tough day. I can tell you all that. Uh, Mark. Mark shot the captain's twin brother. He just stopped by yesterday. Right after dinner. He stepped right into the chaos. So, no one else has popped up. Okay, fine. Let's just take an overwatch stance here and see. Anyway, Mark Muckshot, it seems that he is gonna be our second captain. So we are getting one. He was supposed to come today, but he stepped in through the door and um, what he saw was uh, not a pretty sight. I mean, after that raw chicken sushi, um, we were all not feeling that well, so Julius Caesar, he would probably have said that he came, he saw, he conquered. But Mark Makshat, he came, he smelled the breeze, and he vanished like the wind, I guess. Okay, now we set this first part up, let's see what he's doing up there. You okay? Okay, he didn't approach anything. Is he still here? No, he's gone. Okay, no one else in sight. This is good news, so we can move the rest up. Now, Herman Henchman, our first frontliner. Let's just see if he can... Ah, uh, he can't do anything else than this. But an ambush stance is covering the corner. Let's just see here. Captain is in an overwatch stance, making space for Donnie Dodger here, who is a second frontliner to start off with. Seems that we're all stacking ourselves well here, sticking together. We just need one more turn each to get inside the house, I believe. Maybe just one. You're thinking about barbecue there, Donnie? And Pierre Paré on your first mission today. Nice. You stay close to the captain. He'll tell you exactly what to do. Just don't shoot him. Okay. And Nero the hero is gonna end the turn. Now Nero has a lot of more movement steps than this. But we need him to be one of the first ones to be inside the house up on the top stairs. Now let's end this round and see how things go. A new round has started. Anyway, Mark Mokshad is coming tomorrow. The captain's twin brother, so we have a reserve captain. Ooh. Ah, that's too bad, Nero. That's their leader. Oh, nice one. First blood there, Teddy Toothpick. My turn. Uh, what was that? Another pigeon? Did you guys see that pigeon? It just flew by the... I mean, did you... You didn't see it? Well, it's there. Oh, man. I, I just let that go. A little... T sorry, guys. It's hard to think about that nice barbecue back home waiting for us. I'll concentrate a little more here. Like, I mean, like... Hmm. Let's see. I just tiptoe a little bit closer to the corner because I would like to go into the house. I already spent one. Let's just see. Okay. Yep. That was a little greeting from Mage Master. I'm going to try to concentrate a little bit more here. There may be others. I'm just going to delay here for a second. Let's just see if any of the others are going to move into range. Is that you, Teddy? Oh, man, I'm just thinking about getting this over with and having some barbecue back home. Oh, man. You're thinking about barbecue there, Pierre Pré? Okay, let's see.
So no one else. Oh, he is here. Okay, so he is probably gonna be here very soon. Looks like this is the corner where we're gonna take the first fight. We're gonna say a little hello to you once more. Yep, that's right. A little greeting from Mage Master. And then I'm just gonna take a defensive dodge stance in case anyone wants to jump me in some way. Now let's just see here, Captain. Maybe you should see if you could get a nice shot. Ooh, that's a good shot there, Captain. Yeah, give it to him. Ooh, yes! Oh man, lining up in front of the firing squad? That's uh, not smart there. That's not really that smart. And then, oh man, yeah. Yeah, you do that. And how about you, Teddy Toothpick? Oh man, Donnie. Yeah, let's... Oh, you got a nice shot percentage right there, too. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, this guy, <laughs> he is really getting hurt out there. Okay. Yeah, well, Pierre Paré, you better get away from him because he's gonna go for you. Um, so if you put yourself over here behind, yeah, that's a good position. Just put yourself behind us and take an overwatch here. Let's see. And Nero, you got a pretty good <laughs> straight line right here, right? Let's just see how things are going. Well, we've taken half of his health. He's, uh... He's down to nothing. And even though he's the leader, he's not one of the marked ones. So, um, let's see. So, Nero, how about if we just, you know, take it nice and slow? You could, uh, have another shot in a minute. And Herman Henchman. Let's just see here. Uh, you gonna cover me. That's nice. With a 61% parry chance. You think about barbecue there, Pierre Pré? And how about you, Donny Dodger? Let's see if that's gonna do. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good position. That's a good position. Oh. Oh, nice one, Donny, nice one. Oh man, standing that close to the fire today. That's pretty courageous. Foolish, maybe. Oh, that's a nice one. Going into first front line here. Nice. A new round has started. Oh, man, don't stand too close. Oh, be careful there. Standing that close to the... Oh! What's going... Oh, nice one, Nero! Okay. Ah, you missed. You missed. Okay. So, he's not gonna charge. Let's see. Oh man, I'm looking forward to getting this over with and just coming home to some good barbecue. Nice. And it's my turn. Okay, let's just see here. Maybe... I'm gonna go... Okay. Let's see. <laughs> this is bad! Whoa! I didn't see him! Wow! Okay, okay. Okay, don't, don't, no panic, no panic. I got this, guys, I got this, I got this. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. I'm uh, just gonna tuck myself away right here. Okay, there is uh, someone in there. This is not too good. No problem, guys, I, I got this. I mean, uh, I got this. Okay, let's uh, just uh, stay here. If you ask me, Captain, let's just stay here. That dude. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Okay, he's coming. Ooh, nice one, Teddy! Huh? Okay. You gonna insult Donnie Dodge? Oh, that was stupid. That was stupid. Let's just take a look at this guy real quick. Okay, he's got almost 200 wounds. And he isn't either one of the marked ones. This guy is going down real soon. 
let's see um captain should we you know like try to take a little bit of their morale away right here Whee! you guys you want to see how much health he's got left one he's got one ah oh, come on one huh oh you're delaying okay Teddy toothpick, you start off with a reload here. Uh, maybe you should move a little further. You know, like stretch the point a bit. Let's see. Uh, this guy, he needs. To... <laughs> yeah, that's right, Teddy toothpick. That's right. That's right. Let's see. Um, maybe uh, another arrow would be good. Huh? Let's see. Oh. 167. Oh, nice one, Teddy! And you could take a dodge stance. Oh man, was that you, Herman? Here comes one more. Here comes one more. Okay. So he's gonna try to flank us. Take us from behind, huh? There's a crack in the wall over there. Okay, he went around that wall. Anyway. Herman Henchman, first frontliner, you go right here. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Ah, oh, he came with a counterattack. Ouch, what a counterattack. Anyway, we need to be wise about this, so the smartest thing to do right now is to take it easy and be in a defensive stance. Right here. And Captain? Oh man, I'm looking forward to getting this over with and just coming home to some good barbecue. Nice. Oh, the captain is gonna help over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, that's too bad. That's too bad. But our captain has a 95% parry chance. Oh, and Donnie Dodger, you are, Oh, so you are gonna... Ah, that's a smart move. You're gonna cover their backs right here, huh? Ah, that's a smart move right there. I like it. Pierre Barre. So, Pierre Barre. Are you gonna try? Yeah. See if you can get some first blood in here. Huh, Pierre? Nice one, Pierre. Nice one. Okay, we need to tuck you away. You just stay right there. You can reload. And end the turn right there. And let's see, Nero. Let's see if there are any more surprises out here. Nah. Okay, he's over here. Now. And there are no one else in sight. This guy's down to 90 wounds. Okay. So, Nero. Let's just see. Yeah, we better just cover this area while we take down this dude on the corner. Okay. A new round has started. Oh, man. Wonder what kind of a rifle that is. Looks like, you know, big one. Okay. I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna be the one doing some looting today. Let's just see. <laughs> yep! Yep! That's right! That's right! I just took out my sixth enemy. Oh, there he is, and a nice cluster right over there. And there are some shards over there also. That's the field. Let's just take a look at this. Okay. See, we got the... We got the field over here, we got him over here, we got another one here, and here's a marked one. Okay, he's standing it probably in the doorway. Let's just see. Can we see him over there? Yeah, he's standing over there. Okay, now let's just see if I can sneak my way out here, and maybe I can reload. 
and then I can uh, I can stretch the mark here and see yes I can do that so I can loot okay let's see ah that's a blunderbuss okay and something else is weird I th actually thought I had brought a potion of poultice with me I didn't do that did I drop that somewhere anyway I'm done here I'm done here so uh what i am gonna do here is um i'm gonna try and see if i that is probably ah! yep it was 22 man 22 that was a lot of damage for stepping on a trap i think i'm gonna place myself here so uh pierre Paré can uh, be up along the wall we're gonna take an overwatch stance right here they're gonna come out through this hole in the wall. Let's see. Aw, oh, man, you keep insulting us, huh? Aw, oh, nice one, Captain! What a dodge. But you didn't counterattack. Ah, oh, didn't have enough, huh? Aw, oh, man, let's just see here. This guy's still down to 90. And these guys are... Not even bleeding. But we took their leader out. So, give it to him. No! Yeah, that's right, 34. That's a nice one. That's a real nice one. Ah! Three, 29 once more. Oh, man, that's good. That's good. Okay. The captain is delaying here. And Teddy Toothpick. In case of you are reloading. And we need to take him out. Whee! Nice one. You guys want to see how much health he's got? He's got one. One. That's in one. <laughs> okay, what are the odds of that? Anyway, nice one, Teddy. Nice one. An Overwatch stance. Nice one. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Okay, what is he doing? He's going for some wordstone. Anything else? Oh, he's going for some more words, don't Are you picking up that nice cluster for us over there? Seems that he's taking that cluster. Uh-oh. He's close. I like that. Let's just take a look here. Let's just see it. Oh. Oh. Look at this. Otma and Sigvard. All right. These are the two marked ones, and this is the hero. Okay, so, Pierre Paré, you should see if you could make an aimed shot here, huh? Let's see. <gasps> nice one, Pierre Paré! You just put out an enemy on your first mission. This is, like, awesome! So maybe uh, you should have the honors of uh, looting, huh? You should. You should. This is it. Go for it. Nice. Oh, okay. Be, be careful there, right? <clears throat> okay. A uh, great hammer. Wow. Anyway, a few gold coins there. Well done, Pierre Paré. You now have your first official enemy taken out of action. That's amazingly well done. Well done. Okay, Captain. See this guy over here, right here. He's probably gonna want to attack. Okay, let's just see. Oh, he is a hard hitter. Hmm. And he has a lot of health. But let's just see. Maybe the smart thing would be to lure him in. We could be three all over him in a second. He's gonna make a first front line with Herman Henchman, the captain, and Donnie Dodger. That's good thinking right there. And, and Nero? Oh, Nero, if you could be behind here like this then Teddy and I can cover the two of you with your yellow vests let's just see an overwatch there would be nice one good, good thinking good thinking and Herman Henchman what are you gonna you just gonna put up a first front line right here in front of us and a parry stance of 61 this is nice you got us all covered here Donnie Dodger, maybe you should just stand here with your uh, circle and close the first front line. Our first front line is here in a parry stance. And let's see how this turn ends. That's exciting. 
Let's see what happens. A new round has started. Okay, here comes the first. Nice one, Teddy. Okay, he's proceeding. And nice one from Mage Master. You're gonna be looking like a porcupine. Okay, you're lining up in front of us. That was nicely done. Lining up right there. It's, it's like the shooting range, guys. Oh, man. You okay there, Teddy? And it's my turn. I'm just gonna step a little more to the side right here. I'm gonna reload. And this is a good position. To take a shot right here. Yep, that's right. <laughs> You're gonna be so full of needles. We're still covering the two at the back. So, I'll reload once more. And, uh... And let's get ready for the next one coming around the corner, maybe, through the doorway or whatever. Oh man, I'm just thinking about getting this over with and having some barbecue back home. Oh man. Okay, he's taking an ambush in there. And Captain, let's just take a look here. He's got 150. So what are you gonna do, Captain? Ah, oh, you're gonna throw... A firebomb. All right, closing off that gap right there. That's a nice one. Oh man, was that you, Herman? Ah, so you're just gonna cover them. Okay. Okay. Nice one. And Teddy? Am I in your way? Hey, Teddy? to see. He's pretty lit up over there. Oh, nice one, Teddy. Nice one. Okay. Let's just take it easy, huh? Let's just, uh, see whoever else is gonna do something. Ah, he took some nice fire damage there. Oh, man. That was a nice one. Yep. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna loot out there in the bonfire. Okay. Ooh, nice one, Nero. That one hurt. That one really hurt. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, man. These guys are really getting hurt. And the captain is closing the gap. Now, let's just see. Ouch! Ouch! You're gonna hurt our captain that much? He's gonna give it back to you, see? Yeah, you take a dodge stance. Yeah, you think about that. Huh? You just think about that. Let's just take a look here. This guy's down. Otmar, which we need. And his trophy also. But if we take out these two guys, they're probably gonna have to start taking route tests. 36 for Johann Schmidt. 36. Well, the way I see it, Johan, you could be the next. Ah, nice one, Donnie. Nice one. <coughs> Whee! You guys want to see how much health he's got? <laughs> he's got one. <laughs> Listen, guys, the odds of this. I mean, the odds of this. Are you kidding me? Anyway. Oh, nice, Donny, nice. Let's see if we can loot this guy without actually moving. Because if we move out of our blue spot, that dude right there burning in front of us is gonna attack. So let's just see if we can approach this loot uh, place without losing that spot. There it is. <laughs> that was so close, even to the fire. Oh, look at that one. That's a nice one. And a shard and a great sword. Yeah. Well, none of these two are any of the mocked ones, so we can just leave that. Don't need dodger. Let's just see what what happened to you. Minus twenty to armor absorption. That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> you got fifteen armor absorption like a first frontliner. Ah man, you just caught fire there. Oh Donnie. That's not good. Oops. Maybe you should just stand down here, you know, like, take a break. 
That was bad. That was really bad. Man. Anyway. And Nero. Yeah, Nero. It has a pretty big kickback, that gun. You better, you know, tighten up down there. Okay, give it a shot, Nero. Come on, let's give him a shot. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, 36. That's right. That's right. And you should take a dodge, yeah? Like that. And Herman Henchman. Let's see here. 83. And he is gonna be all over us in the next turn. Anyway. Perry stance of 61. For Herman Henchman. And Pierre Paré, you should take a shot. Yeah, reload. You can reload after this shot. Now give it to him. All right, Pierre Paré, you did good. You did really good. Nice. Yeah, step up a little closer here, reload, and then end the turn. And we're gonna be ending the round as well. A new round has started. Oh, man. <laughs> sure you all right, Teddy? Okay, he took some damage there. Well dodging, Herman. Well dodged. That's nice. Ooh, he can dodge as well. He's on fire, this guy. Uh, I mean, yeah, literally. He's going into a dodge as well. Okay. Let's see if anybody else turns up. Okay, let's just take a look at what he's got. He's got 43 at this point. 43. And reload. I don't know if I'm too close here. But let's just see if we can help. Oh man, this guy's so full of arrows at this point. <laughs> he really is. Okay. Let's just reload, and I think I'm gonna stretch a little bit for a nice overwatch stance right here in order to get a good shot at that doorway over there behind the fire. Ah, oh, here he comes. Here he comes. He too was lit on fire. That was their pitching again. Oh man, I'm just thinking about getting this over with and having some barbecue back home. Oh, man. So, let's just see the two guys that are marked for death are right here among us. This is one of them. He's got 209 wounds or health, and he's a hard hitter. This guy, he's down to 25, and if we take him out, they might actually have to take a route test. So, that means we would have to take them both out in this round to be sure to get that second objective. I'm not sure if the captain can actually move over. Oh, no, no, he couldn't, he couldn't. He got ambushed over here, so captain, give it to him. Give it to him. That's right. That's right. Oh, he's coming in hard. Oh, man, he's coming in hard. Oh, man. Okay, but you can do some damage as well. And a parry stance of 95 with a counter-attack possibility. Oh, man. Let's just see here, Teddy. We need to assist the captain, like, real fast. But maybe we need to think strategically right now. Ah, come on. You see that pigeon there, Teddy? You see it? You see it? Oh, man, that's a suicidal one, I'm sure. Okay, that's okay. Maybe we should just give it all we got. So give it a go. Yeah, give it a go, Teddy. Yeah, nice one. We dealt some damage to him. You had a 46% chance. That wasn't much of a chance. But you did it. Okay, and let's, let's just see here. Herman Henchman? Ah, yeah. oh, come on. Why did you dodge that one? We just want to put you away. Okay, a defensive stance. I mean, pushing it to the next one. Let's see, Pierre Paré. Let's see. Oh, you could try a shot at him. Yeah, do it, do it, Pierre, do it. Ah. Nice one, Pierre. That's right. Well done. Well done. And you can reload and wait for the next turn. You want to have a perception go? Nice. We failed. Okay, why not? Okay, let's see. And Nero the hero. Maybe to reload here. And maybe... Oh, man, he's engaged. Let's just see. How about an aim shot? Yeah, you, you should try that. 
Oh man, you're doing good there, Nero. You're doing really good. Really good. Okay, you got hurt by the fire. I I know, I know. Let's just see what what could be done here. Oh, where are you going? Oh, you're taking him from the backside. That's a bit risky, but nice thinking there. Oh man, he dodged that one. So maybe he's gonna have to take and all the low tests now. Let's see what's going on here. A new round. A new round has started. Let's see. <laughs> ah, he's taking damage. Ah, nice parry there, Herman. Nice parry there. Oh, well done. You well done. Awesome. You are turning out to be a formidable first frontliner right there, Herman Henchman. And I am gonna try and see if I can stick it to him this round. We need to take him out this round. Oh, man. Let's just see. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And, of course, we're gonna reload again. Give it another shot. Oh, man, Donnie. Ah, oh, man, this pigeon is really crazy. I mean, okay, I'm, I missed that one. O okay, I want to try perception tests as well. Let's just see here. Oh, we got an enemy right in front of us. Ah, we didn't see that. Let's just end the turn and see what he does. Ah, oh, nice parrying there, Mason. Nice parrying there. And even better counterattacking. <laughs> Ouch. But here comes a counterattack. Ooh, nice, Donny, nice. Oh yeah, you take a dodge right there. See how much that's gonna help you. All right, let's just take a look at things right here. This guy's got 48, and this guy we need to loot. Otmar and Sigwad. They are the secondary objective right there in front of us. Yeah, that's right, that's right. You're still on fire. Okay, the captain is delaying. Teddy, you can loot. That means you should go and and uh, you should loot that guy while we've got the chance. Oh man. Oh man, I'm looking forward to getting this over with and just coming home to some good barbecue. Objective completed. Nice. Objectives updated. Yeah, they're updated. Yeah, okay. Okay, nice one, Teddy. Nice one. Okay. Let's just see. Uh, okay. Why don't you try and give him a shot? <gasps> yeah, that's right, Teddy. That's right. That's right. And Nero, yeah, you could be the one actually doing what needs to be done. So we got those three experience points. This one, let's just see. Sigwat, that's the one we need. That's the one. And we are getting an axe and a dagger of normal quality. Doesn't matter. Objective completed. Did you hear that? Ah, oh, okay. I guess you got excited there, right? This is a hard day, Captain. Okay, well done, Nero, well done. Let's, I think that we're gonna just have to wait this out because their morale is totally broken. Totally broken. And Donnie Dodger, what are you gonna, oh, are you gonna close the gap again? Okay, and let's, uh, let's just see. Okay, and Captain, you could take that other side of the wall over here. That's right. An ambush stance right over here. Ah, oh, this is good. This is good. We got the gap closed right now. And Herman Henchman, you've been a real good first frontliner today. You could stand in front of Pierre Paré, rather him than me. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, Perry stance, and let's see if uh, someone is gonna turn up. Still no one else in sight. This is good. Okay, Pierre Paré. You should just take an overwatch. Yeah. Like this. Okay, now let's see what happens. A new round has started. Yeah, we did it. We did it. And now we approach the sweet moment. 
Returning from battle in one piece is always a sweet moment, but it is also the moment where we discover the newfound skills and the spoils of war, and we receive advancements and experience and better gear. And today, of course, we can fully enjoy the battle tales of yet another strategically superior and glorious victory for the Firing Squad. Let's share that sweet moment together in tomorrow's episode of... Mage Master's Amazing Adventures with the Firing Squad into... Vortheim, the city of the damned. Thanks for now, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, then please leave a note in the commentary below and hit that subscribe button and the notification button if you want to be notified of new releases. So that's it for me, thanks and have a nice day.